This tutorial video will take you through the registration process. So we begin from the 496 website, clicking project, we go to your project registration site, and you'll see here that um, before you begin, you really should have at least a potential team um, and project. And here's the link that gets you into the website. Now you'll be asked for your UTOR ID, so you go ahead and log in. And this will take you to the main web page. Now up here you'll see you have the status that shows you where you are in the registration process and here are all your commands. Now with this student the first time you log in all you can do is to create a new team. So select one member to be the team leader who will go in create a new team and what we're going to do is now um, add two more students so we add team members and I just have a few uh, test accounts. So I'm going to add student two and three. So I find them by searching through the list. If you leave it blank, then you'll bring up the entire class list. So let's add students two and three. Uh, so that's student two, student three, And at this point now, you have um, sent invitations to the students, so they'll receive emails from the system. Uh, you can also uh, click under their names to email them yourself. And uh, while you're waiting for them to reply back to confirm your project, then you can you know, go ahead and uh, enter information about your project both its project title and ID. The ID is from the project listings. So I just have a dummy project here, if there is one. Um, if it's your own, then there's no project ID. You simply put the title. Now, uh, supervisor, uh, pull down the professor that you want to work with, and you can update your project description. So you'll see your project description down here has been updated. and we can uh, just refresh. You see, at this point, student two is confirmed. Uh, what the other students see, the ones who have been invited, let's just go over to see student three. Student three will see, uh, normally this is the, uh, uh, what they see if they hadn't created a project or received an invitation. Once you receive an invitation, then the students will have the choice to approve or decline. So assuming that they've approved it, let's go back to student one. So student one should now see everyone's approved. So I'm just going to refresh the page and you can see that all the team members have been confirmed. So at this point you have uh, the project description and the team and so you're ready, if there are no further changes, you're ready to confirm the project with the team. So clicking the command moves you now to confirming the project and the team membership. So what this allows you to do is it freezes the description and allows everyone to see uh, what is being proposed and the assumption is that everyone agrees, so offline They'll go ahead and uh, confirm the project. If you want to see student, if we take a look at student three, student three, he confirms the project by simply hitting the confirm button. And if he refreshes, we can see that uh, we're just waiting for student two now. So let's go back to student one. And let's see if he's confirmed. Yes, okay. So now everyone, all three team members have confirmed. And you can see now that the project is ready to submit to the supervisor. 
So at this point, uh, most of the time you would simply submit the project to the supervisor. But in any case, the system is designed to be flexible. So if at this point you wish to make changes to the project, um, then simply reopen the project. And that brings you back to the earlier stage forming the team and project. And you can continue to uh, edit it. There's also the uh, option to remove yourself from the team in case you need to um, move to another team. That's all possible before you submit the project for approval. Now, at this point, uh, assuming there's no more changes, then you simply submit for, uh, the project for supervisor approval. Your supervisor will receive an uh, email notification and uh, will log in and um, will approve the project. And once it's been approved, then you will receive a confirmation email and on the system you'll see that everything is in place. Uh, the other students will also see that um, project has been approved and the registration is complete and you notice that the commands are have now disappeared and the project is now confirmed and closed. So the process for registration is quite straightforward and if you have any problems there's a help menu and um, you can always email ask 496.